Hey everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you X Lights Insights. Hey, it's a two for today. I've done two videos. How about that? Must be getting some energy back. Let's get into this. Uh, I've taken a little bit longer to make a second video, uh, the X Lights Insights, because I've been waiting for some things to happen. And uh, Daryl Irwin, who has been very, very busy. Uh, we finally uh, got something committed for test flight for me to check out. And then a couple other things I'll, I'll talk about. So no more than three things. But the one I'm most excited about is, is pretty cool. And that deals with, uh, in the sequencer, if I just go over here to my mega tree and I drop, I don't know, let's just drop this bad boy on it. Yeah, there we go. And this is all about color palettes. There's a new menu added here. And in this new menu, there's update palette, there's import palette, and I like this so much better than trying to use the shortcut commands over here. But there's something else that's very unique about this. And if you've seen any of my other tutorials where I talk about AI and how I use them to come up with colors, and then I have to go in and change them. So I'll go in here, and I'll click on this and I'll edit the F value. And then you, you have that. Then you have to drag this down to here and place it. Then you have to click up here to get it to lock the color in. So if I'm going to create eight hex values for the sequence, I have to do that eight times. Now, I don't mind it so much. It's therapeutic, right? But there is a better way now using AI. So I'm going to bring over my AI component over here. And I have asked it, please create eight hex values for Lady Gaga's hit song, Abracadabra, based on the vibrant and stunning music video. Please also list each hex value separated by a comma so I can copy and paste it into X lights. Ah, isn't that nice? And let's see what it does. It's liable to throw me up some type of issue about policy. Let's see. <laughs> Based on the vibrant blah, 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 blah. Here you go. Gaga's fiery red dress, electric violet lighting and stage hues, bold magenta sparkles and glam makeup, enhanced, intented turquoise glow. Blah, 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 blah. So a whole bunch of these. So what's kind of nice about this, instead of having to copy these one at a time, I can just take all of this, copy it. Boom, it's copied. I don't need you anymore. We can come over to X Lights and we can click on this new little button here that says Import Palette. It's going to give us a little box. You paste that in there. You click OK. There's our new palette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How cool is that, right? Now I can go in here and let's look at the choices. We can update palette, save palette, save palette as, delete palette, import palette. So what I want to do is save palette as, and we're going to call this Gaga Glam. There we go. Click OK. And now we'll see that it is in my list. And if I hover over it, we should see a name, Gaga Glam. There's that X palette that I can export or re-import, and I'll have it forever if I want it. And that's it. It's that simple. So taking hex values from AI uh, to improve your sequencing to make it more efficient. So this is a pretty cool thing. We'll be playing with this uh, in my future classes coming up. And let's look at something else that I think is kind of cool. Uh, I'll bring this list over so you can see it. Add, find, replace on timing tracks. Now, I've been playing around with this and um, I think you have to be careful. I think you have to be very careful with this. Uh, you ever have that lyric where you've just got to spell the word completely different to get the phenomes to enunciate it correctly? We've all had strange words that just don't make sense when we, you know, tell it here, we'll uh, tell it to break down 
the word and then we end up with something that doesn't make any sense at all. So what we can do now, or you will be able to when the new version comes out, is right click and we can find, uh, let's say it's a complicated word. I'm gonna say O oh, is a complicated word. And perhaps every time the lyrics are O, oh, maybe it was supposed to be ah. So I'll say, okay, find all the O's. And I'm gonna scoot back over here and then I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna tell this to replace all with ah. And there we go. And if we, scoot, I don't know why it goes to the end like that, but it does. And if we come back here, you will see now that all the words that were OH are now ah. Okay. Well, I suppose we could also do this. We could find everything that is O and it's going to find all that and we could right click and replace all with uh ai i uh and actually we should just capitalize that and click here and i think you have to be careful doing this i don't see this as a use case for simple vowel sounds i see this more as there's a lyric that repeats in your sequence that you found a better way to make it enunciate instead of you know copying and pasting you could go ahead and replace all the versions of that peculiar word at once uh, because if you replace all the o's with ai the o's that are supposed to be there well they're now all going to be the ah sound so if we look through here i see no o's and I would love to say we could just do edit undo, control Z, control Z. That's not gonna do, that's just gonna impact effects. That doesn't do anything here. But, 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 and I can't show you on the menu because it's way at the top. There is a new, um, you know, we've had the undo forever, control Z. But what we've been missing is the control Y or command Y, which is redo. So I know you can't see it. Just know that in the edit, there will be the word redo with an arrow going the opposite direction. If I hit redo and I do that again, I should get some of these effects back here. Edit, redo, redo. Let's just do command Y. And maybe that doesn't work. Let's try another way. Let's just put a butterfly on the matrix. And let's say that I put this over here. Maybe I did something else. And now I'm going to hit Control Z for Edit Undo. Now I'm going to hit Control Y for Redo. Control Z, Undo. Control or Command Y, Redo. So X Lights will finally have Redo. I think that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, one last thing I'm going to show you that is acting weird. I've reached out to Daryl and said, hey, uh, isn't this supposed to be doing this when I do this? Um, if I have a model like the Infinity Spinner from Showstoppers, and they typically, uh, when, when you're mapping from groups to models, you might have to do it several times, which I don't suggest. You could create an alias called uh, Infinity 2, Infinity 3, throw them in the aliases so that when you map to it, all of them would get it. Uh, but there's something new in here. I'm just going to click on import, import a sequence. I'm just going to pull anything over. It doesn't really matter. And it brings up the dialog box. There's some effects over there. Uh, we're going to see that there is the infinity spinner by itself. Okay. Uh, there it is. Now I created this group by simply right clicking add empty group, give it a name, and it creates the infinity spinner group, but it's it's empty. So I'm asking for clarification from Daryl. Is, is there not a way that when we create an empty group or just create group, why does it have to be empty? If I'm going to create a group that doesn't exist and I'm using this, the infinity showstopper spinner, can we just not have it go in the group? 
just just food for thought. I like the idea of having choices that we can make from the mapping process. But then again, I kind of go back and I think, well, you know, I can just right click here and add to uh, an empty or create an, a, a group from it and it puts it in there. Wanted to keep this pretty short. Thanks to all the devs for the great work. Uh, thanks for Daryl for being available and answering questions. I know a lot of the devs have been really, really busy working on this stuff. So hats off to all of you. And I will catch you on the next X-Lights Insights. It's been a blast. We'll see you later.